guys. Another quick learning thing. We're going to show you how to use a bevel machine. Um, this is the Matthew Dearman 2 to 4 inch, or I think it's even the 1 and a half to 4 inch thing. Anyways, all right. So, I'm going to explain the parts to you. You got a short barrel torch, meaning that the barrel on this torch is, is shorter. I'll bring a long barrel. We're going to do a whole nother deal on this, comparing an H&M, a Sawyer, and a Matthew bevel machine so that you guys can get an idea of what's going on with them and which one you would like to get. But this is a short barrel Victor torch with a, looks like a three, yeah, I think that's a three bent tip. And I cut it with everything. I mean, the sucker will blow through anything. Okay, so this is how you determine the size of pipe that this thing's gonna cut. When you buy one of these or you order one of these, it comes with dogs. And these are your dogs. This is this is your three inch dog. This is your two inch dog. This is your four inch. You don't you don't have anything on it, and this will cut four inch. Okay. Now the way you put these on, there's a little screw hole right here. Thread your screw in there, and and H and M does it different. H and M does it. H&M does it different. They have square blocks that come with yours and they just rotate the switch. Where the Matthews have dogs. And when you get in with a Matthew, I mean, the two to four they have, so you get one in the front, one in the back. Now when you get up into like the three to eight bevel machines, you get four dogs and they go on each corner of the this is called your saddle right here. So make sure it's square. I don't cinch these down because I change them out so much. I don't. I just hand tighten them. Make sure they're on here good. Now let's go cut some pipe. A vaquero once was I. Oh, geez. Hey, guys. Okay, this is what cinches your set, cinches this bevel machine down onto the piece of pipe. You don't want it to move because it'll jack your cut up like you wouldn't believe. So you twist this little screw out. <clears throat> Oops, about lost my bevel machine. Okay guys, these are high dollar too. Don't freaking mess them up. Okay. Then there's a little Allen wrench right here that this little metal piece just hooks to. It's a pretty simple little design. You just hook it on there and then cinch this down to this pipe. And this is going to keep it from moving. Trey, what's up, brother? Okay, got that. Grab my glove all that. Yeah! Are those our bottles up? No, they're not. Look at that nice truck. It should be in your box. Oh, guys. Telling you, a little tray working. It's awesome. Them other weathers, they like to be involved. They like to be involved. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, settling first when you're lighting. Light it. Now you're looking for little cones in here. Yeah, can you see that? You want each individual cone. I'm going to show you what it does. Now, now you want to bring your oxygen in and 
tell each one get their own cone. They're separate. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to preheat the pipe. And you just run around it. Depending on how thick it is, you run around it one or two, three, five, ten times, whatever it takes. You want a clean cut. If you're doing tie-ins, you might want to run around that sucker a couple times. <laughs> you want it to just butter smooth it up. Okay. Make sure your tip's kind of angled into your cut, the direction you're going to go. And when you light it, you're going to kind of put the oxygen to it, rock it back to, towards you. And then take it that way. I don't know why you have me cut. You did so much, such a better job. I'm telling you, number three tip, blow through a lot of stuff. Watch your hoses when that just falls done. Acetylene off first, oxygen off last. There you go, Jack. Jack Gander at it. Okay guys, that goes for every size of pipe. Same idea every time. Might be a different kind of bevel machine, but easy clean. That's how you cut it. All right, y'all. Be blessed. We're glad Trey's here with us. Hi. And uh, we'll see y'all here in a little bit. I'm here too. Oh, and Jed's here with us too. We love Jed. He's our 